Hey guys and welcome back to my channel. I have picked up the camera just as I'm about to run out of the door but I've got a very exciting day planned so I wanted to bring you along with me. So for my birthday my mum actually booked for us to do a cookery demonstration with an Italian lady called Santa who apparently has the most amazing home in Somerset. She's like fully booked every day. I will leave it linked down below for anyone local and interested but yeah I thought I'd show you what I'm up to. It's a nice day off work and then we'll kind of just do a normal vlog. So before I leave I'm wearing a cos just like vest top or tank, a Uniqlo short sleeve shirt and then some Uniqlo jeans cos trainers. So yeah a bit of a Uniqlo, <laughs> Uniqlo and cos outfit today. Yesterday evening we had my parents over for dinner which was actually so nice. We, I made a lasagna which is a recipe on my blog which I will link down in the description box below as well which is vegetarian and yeah so so nice. Mikey and my dad don't really like aubergines but you, well you would know they're there but they taste very good so I definitely recommend trying that one out and yeah then just had a bit of a relaxing evening ready for today which I've been so excited about for a long time so yeah looking forward to get going I'm gonna be late which I feel like I'm always saying so I should probably go now so this whole cookery course was in Santa's workshop which is the cutest name for her barn she lives there with her dogs and her husband and she explains everything like a home cook cooking for some friends she has an assistant, probably a local friend, who is there helping serve drinks and prepare the table ready for us to eat. And it's such a lovely space to kind of just chat with people about food, relax, make new friends, meet new people and learn lots of recipes as well. So I really do recommend checking out Santa's website and booking onto one of her cookery courses if you're local. She has the most beautiful home and wonderful family recipes as well, which was so, so delicious. And my favorite course was this dessert. Uh, I am just back home to the cottage. Well, I say just back, I got back about an hour ago exactly, but I've just had some work things to do. I've actually had some exciting work things going on, which I will be able to share with you very, very soon. But the cookery course was so nice. I just thought I would kind of share some of the things that we cooked in case you may have not seen. I might not have captured the footage. Like I said in my last vlog, I sometimes do get a bit anxious just getting my camera out and vlogging because I just don't want anyone to feel uncomfortable and I feel like I, I don't know, I don't want people to be asking me what I do for work and all of those kinds of things. The food we had was, so we had a chilled lettuce soup with pickled cucumber and crab, which was delicious. It doesn't sound the most appetizing when you hear it read there, but it was so nice. I've got the recipes for these as well. so. I might actually kind of make some of them and maybe share a couple of the recipes. I'll of course reach out to the cook Santa and make sure she's happy with that. We then had courgette patties. We had, I actually had a samosa vegetarian option and then we had that with cauliflower and gorgonzola dolce schnitzel which was divine. And then we had a cocktail and some canapes and then an almond and lemon tort with lemon cello and a gin lemon cream jelly for dessert, which was honestly beautiful. I really, really recommend it. And we've actually booked a whole private day for 12 of us. So need to kind of round up 12 people to come with us now, but we just wanted to kind of secure something as I know it gets really booked up, like even next year is already kind of booked. So yeah, really loved doing that. Anyway, it's Mikey's evening where he actually works at Waitrose. I don't know if I've told anyone this before because I'm always a bit reluctant to because Mikey has had people going up to him and saying hello in Waitrose, the store he works in, which is funny. It's something he's done since he was ooh, 16, before we met. And yeah, he's been there for 10 years now. And, or he must've been 17. But yeah, he, he's been there for 10 years. And I think I might've mentioned this in my last vlog, but the time has come 
where he is actually leaving. So today he's handing his notice into Waitrose. He works there just in the store one evening a week, a Wednesday evening, which is today, and then the rest of his time he's a mortgage advisor, but he's actually going to be stopping Waitrose and that one day a week on a Wednesday, he's gonna be working for me instead, or working with me, I should say, which is really exciting. So I'm gonna kind of spend a Wednesday as a bit more of like a dedicated vlogging day because I really like it when Mikey's in my videos and I think you guys do as well. And what else am I gonna be doing on Wednesdays? We're going, we're having the new study, which I have mentioned already, and we're gonna be doing all sorts of different kind of like admin, Mikey's going to be helping with the setting up the product and the business kind of side of things and yeah it's really exciting but I, I mean I feel very overwhelmed that I'm in a position where Mikey can kind of join me but yeah really exciting. Sorry when I come into this room it's so dark. I mean it's it is a dark room. You can kind of see there how dark it is, but that is cottages for you and I'm all to bringing kind of light to the reality of smaller cottages. Anyway, tomorrow I am very, very busy actually. I've got from, I think from 12 until 4, I've got back-to-back -back meetings that are maybe an hour, some of them, half an hour for others. So, in the morning, I'm going to try and do some filming. Oh, my phone's ringing again, one sec. Sorry guys, that was my mum, which was, well, she was trying to call me, but she was just asking, what was she asking? Oh, she's buying a sofa at the moment and she wasn't sure on options and stuff and it turns out that I can actually get her trade discount just through obviously doing like design clients and stuff means that I can get a discount for my clients on furniture so yeah it works out well in that respect because I don't know I really like feeling useful and obviously parents and stuff do a lot for me and have done over the years so it's nice to be like useful for them now and to be able to repay the favour in a way. <laughs> so I was saying I'm gonna go to Ikea I think tomorrow morning and try and get all of the storage boxes, all of that stuff for the cabinets in the living room and I've just put the new handles on. Annoyingly, I think I've ordered one too little, too few handles. Oh. <laughs> I've literally just found one wrapped up in the paper there, so I have one which is so exciting. Oh, before that, uh, before I show you those, let me show you the dining table that in the last vlog I was kind of changing and shaking up. Right, so it is very hard to show you with the lighting in here. Maybe if I stand back a bit you can see a bit better, but the top is now like a really nice worn, aged, dark colour, much less stripy, and then the bottom, very difficult to see, but it's a really deep brown that almost is verging on black, but it's like a walnut colour and the stairs are all going in that colour as well. So yeah, I'm really, really happy with that. Here are the new handles, which I'm obsessed with. I just think they are so, so nice. Such a, such a nice little detail. So here is the cabinet. So I'm kind of thinking about storage. I'm going to do some kind of clever like lighting hack with some things from, with the LED lighting from Ikea, so I might check that out tomorrow whilst I'm in there. But we're thinking of having like a bar area at the bottom so that when kind of friends come over we can have that bit open, people can like grab their own drinks and stuff which will be really nice. And then basically at the top we're thinking of just having like loads and loads of baskets that we can like throw things in, vases, cushion covers, accessories, all of that kind of stuff. But I honestly just find Ikea such a minefield. I don't know if anyone else is the same as well. I'm just gonna sit here because I've got random furniture all over the house at the moment whilst we're kind of doing more work and getting things together. But yeah, I find Ikea a massive minefield. So just trying to plan, look online, think about what I wanna see. But yeah, I'm gonna do that this evening. I've also got a lot of work to catch up on so I don't know if anyone else finds the same but as soon as you're out for the day you just come back and have like a million and one things 
to do. So yeah, I've got some work to do. I was thinking I might skip dinner, but now that I'm like home and feeling relaxed, I'm just like, oh, I wanna eat something. So yeah, I'm gonna try and get all of that done and we'll catch up with you in the morning when I am probably on my way to Ikea and I will show you around and like show you what I'm loving and stuff because I might pick up some other things as well. <laughs> Sorry, Stormy keeps on sneezing. <laughs> Just before I go guys, does anyone know if dogs can get hay fever? Because I've had my suspicions that Stormy and Ziggy both have like dog hay fever, but can you let me know if that's possible or not? Because I am really not sure, not sure. I also really like this kind of angle into that room. I want to make more of a feature of that, but I'm not sure how. Hmm. <laughs> Hello everyone, it's now a new day and I've just been unboxing something very exciting. I don't know if anyone will know what this is by looking, but it is an uni pizza oven which I've wanted to try for ages. I actually asked Mikey if he wanted one as a gift for his birthday, which he was because he really loves pizza. And he was like, I'd absolutely love one. And then Uni reached out to me and asked if I'd like to give it a go. So yeah, I'm really, really excited about that. So I thought I would make some pizzas in today's vlog. I'm gonna unbox it now, and then I'm gonna go to Ikea, as I mentioned, and I will show you around everything there that I'm loving, because I have had a mooch online, and there is a lot of good stuff in there right now. But yeah, I thought I would just unbox this first and see what I need to buy, because I'm fairly certain you need a um, a gas, gas canister or whatever it's called, I don't know, I'm really bad, as you guys all know, at kind of like technology and all of this kind of stuff, it all needs to be explained to me properly, so let's see, well it's very nice looking, I'll say that, and then it comes with this. This box contains the stone baking board open with care. So I'll leave that packaged until later when I'm ready to cook the pizzas. I actually have another, um, another package that arrived with... Uh, so there's the legs. So I'm guessing they literally just... Again, guessing. I should literally just research. I should just read the instructions. Yeah, so they fold out. I think that's... Safe. I will obviously read the instructions before I show you properly, but I will show you, actually I'll just show you now, may as well. So here it is, obviously I will not be using this inside, I don't know if you can, I'm sure you can actually, but it would get quite smoky, so I'm going to be obviously doing that in the garden and making sure that I've read the instructions first, but it does look really nice and I'm hoping you can kind of buy a cover for it and just keep it in the garden, but I'm sure it will say everything in the instruction manual over here. So I will have a good read of that a bit later. And then with the uni, I also had a package from Lakeland. I'm not sure what this is, but I'm guessing it's something to do with the uni as well. My God, amazing. There's loads of accessories in here. I'm guessing this is, well, it's still all uni, but probably from Lakeland. So there's a 12 inch pizza peel. There's some New York pizza mix. How do you do that? Step one, empty into a large bowl or stand mixer, add for 410 grams of water and olive oil. By hand, combine the mixture to form a sticky leaf. Blah, blah, blah. Eventually the surface will be smooth, lightly oil. Amazing! There's also a Coda carry cover so that you can take it with you. And then a bamboo pizza peel from Lakeland as well, which is so nice. So I've got a wooden one and a bamboo one. So yeah, can take my pick. <laughs> Right, I am actually going to head out now. Ziggy, whenever I honestly pick up the camera, I swear Ziggy starts barking. Oh, that's Stormy. Stormy, come. Stormy, come. 
Yeah, so I had a really productive morning. I went to the gym, which is good. I feel like I'm in a really good routine with exercise and stuff at the moment. And then I came back, I did a bit of work, I got ready and I'm just about to go to Ikea now and it's only 10 past 10. So yeah, a really good time. It's Friday as well. So yeah, looking forward to the weekend. So I've come to Ikea in Bristol, which is one of my favourite Ikeas to go to. And straight away I'm looking at vases, chairs and all of the different room sets that are there. I absolutely loved this new rattan chair, which can come with cushions or without, I believe. And then this lamp really took my fancy. I actually later saw a desktop version, which I am thinking of getting for our study. And I really love this console table as well, if you have a slightly more contemporary style. But I was definitely drawn to a lot of the really natural looking pieces, as always, kind of like my home. I like to blend something that's more traditional and something more modern as well. Loved this hallway and of course the baskets, which is what I was after. And really just taking in all of the different room sets at Ikea, I think is really handy. They are very clever with storage solutions, so whenever I go, I'm always kind of looking at different ways you can dress a space, like this kitchen, for example, with the pots, the pans, the open storage. I just really love how this space flows and has a really good mix of form and function. I then had a really good browse of the bedroom section and actually noticed quite a lot of IKEA is under construction, so looking forward to going back soon and seeing what's new and what they've changed. I was also drawn to a lot of the bedroom pieces like this bedside table with the leather tag handle and the chest of drawers as well, which I'm not sure I will need, but for 300 pounds, I thought it was a really reasonable price. And then in the bedroom sets, I was really drawn to this wall light in the same style as the floor lamp that I showed you earlier and also the desktop lamp that I mentioned which now looking at it I think also has wireless charging for your phone if it's compatible with that which is obviously so practical for a desk when you're working all day so that you can keep on full charge. You know I also loved this footstool for our dressing room I think it might have some storage inside. Again just taking in inspiration for kitchen pieces which can be practical, but also look good as well. I am obviously into cooking, so anything that will make my life easier, it's very handy. I thought these would be really nice to make some fresh kind of coolies or different juices. And then as always, lots of really nice baskets and lots of aesthetic things as well. I thought these were very attractive and a very reasonable price. And then again, more of my baskets, which I absolutely love getting new baskets. I then had a look at the mirrors and some of the smaller accessories as well, which are downstairs in my local Ikea. So they had lots of lovely neutral pots and vases, which I thought would be really nice for either a large basil plant or maybe a bouquet of flowers, either real or faux. And they also had lots and lots of great sizes and other accessories to explore too. So I am home from Ikea. I was quite successful. I did get the baskets that I wanted. So these are called Trumis. Trumis? <laughs> and they are they're 25 by 35 by 20 so three should fit really well with a little bit of a gap in the bookcases so I got nine of them so that should be enough to fill three shelves on one side and then I'm going to kind of see how I'm getting on when I sorted those out which is going to be a job for tomorrow I think and then I also picked up where is it, it might be in here somewhere I left it in the other room, but yeah, the only thing I picked up was a new milk jug because I actually only have the one and it's really quite small. So I wanted to get a bigger one. That means I can do cappuccinos for me and Mikey in one jug. So yeah, I know it's only a small thing. I think that was three pounds, 
but that would be a really practical piece which is exactly what I love Ikea for so hopefully you enjoyed looking around a little bit and yeah I'm gonna actually round the vlog off now although I will put in a little bit of b-roll at the end of us hopefully enjoying the uni this evening because yeah we're gonna go get some gas and try and get it moving when Mikey's home in about an hour or so but I've got lots of editing to finish up and lots of other work to do so I will see you in the next one bye guys